Oh, hello, YouTubers. Uh, there were, or are, sulfur tufts, inedible, as far as I know. Um, I'm sure there's someone out there who can have got a use for them, maybe. Uh, I think they're slightly bioluminescent as well. Uh, you have to go out in the woods and check it out for yourself, maybe. I'm, uh, I'm just out in the woods at the moment. There's some cormorants on that little boat out there. Probably got full bellies as this is a, a trout lodge. So I'm in the northwest of England right now and uh, I'm out with Bess the dog and Mother Nature, myself. And uh, I've harvested a few mushrooms, I'll show you later on. I'm going to find a, a spot, probably in a pine, uh, a coniferous woodland roundabout just so I can light a little fire and uh, and cook a, make a cup of tea as it were. Okay, this is Hyptoporus betulinus. Here's a little baby one just just beginning to push out of the the birch tree that it's on, that they grow on. And it are, they are known also as uh, as birch polypores. So these are here just growing on the, um, like I say, on the uh, dead birch tree. Uh, so we find them quite, uh, quite a lot in the, in the woodlands and the forests. Wherever you find birch trees, usually you'll find birch polypores. So, uh, here's some pretty funny shaped ones. That's beautiful. Look at that one. Yes. Here's dead ones from last year that have been spent and they're now becoming the forest itself. Uh, it's dropped all its spores last year and fallen from the tree. So I'm going to... Um, <clears throat> Just light a fire. It's a bit wet uh, today just to use the, the standing wood around that we find, uh, unless you're using some kind of, uh, you uh, know, So we're going to get the, I've got some pine here, which is uh, mm, <clears throat> very rich in, in sap. So I'll just extract, chop this, uh, a couple of sticks off here and extract the, the sap rich wood from inside just to light the fire. And uh, I shall, Pick back up from there really so as long as you've got the right tools you've got a saw here a retractable saw uh, for for chopping the wood and uh, it's like a british army issue machete um, obviously very important to keep your your knives and your tools in good order and very sharp which that one is
Just got to make sure you keep enough air circulation in there before it gets started. It's all a little bit damp today, so it just takes a bit longer just to get things going. Now, while the fire's um, uh, while the fire's getting itself in, I'll just run through what we've <clears throat> what we've been picking today. It's slim pickings today, but it's all it's all good. There's some nice things here we can have. So we have here we've got, of course, the wild whiskey, which is always very important for any trip. This one's nearly empty. I've not drunk it all today. I just didn't come with much. Uh, we have the birch polypore. Uh, it's a medicinal, forest medicinal mushroom. Uh, we have, I forget the name of these, but it's, uh, they call them the, like a hedgehog mushroom. You can see just these like spines. So that's the underneath that the mushroom grows like that. And these kind of spines are underneath. That's a, an edible mushroom, very tasty. We have some uh, Rosulas here, forget which species. Uh, we have the sheathed wood tuft, very uh, tasty mushroom. You just have to be careful uh, because there's a, a similar mushroom. It looks quite similar uh, and its name is the funeral bell. Um, so that gives you a, that hints at an idea that it's not very uh, prudent to consume the funeral bell, mistaking it for the sheathed wood tuft. Uh, so, as always with mushrooms, with wild mushrooms, uh, if you don't really know what you're doing, you don't ingest them, don't eat them. Um, it, uh, it's just one of these lifetime studies, I suppose, uh, that's uh, very interesting and very rewarding. Uh, but don't, there's no need to rush into it. Uh, and here we have the beautiful Amethyst Deceiver. Uh, there you see the purple colour. It's very beautiful. This is an edible mushroom. Uh, we have some nettles, which we can eat just, uh, basically just cook them over the fire, burn all the hairs off, and just wilt them over the flames. It's better to do it, as always, cooking over embers rather than flames, but... Um, and then once they're sufficiently uh, wilted, as it were, and you know you've got all the, the uh, hairs which inject the poison into you, uh, 
you can eat them straight like that. It's very simple. And here we have uh, this is the turkey tail, Tremetes versicolor. It's a medicinal mushroom, one of the most medicinal uh, mushrooms with the most medicinal qualities uh, in our land, in our forests. Um, which I can, I'll get into on another another video and here we've got some wood sorrel so I'm just going to make a, a cup of tea with the Tremetes versicolor, the turkey tail uh, are sometimes known as the uh, like the Bushman's chewing gum carrot yeah. you can take them basically straight off the tree um, just, they grow on, the, on dead trees and, and chew them and they're, they're water soluble uh, medicinal compounds within the mushroom um, and I presume through chewing them we, we get uh, uh, some of these qualities mm. uh, so back to the tea I'm going to make uh, turkey tail and polypore tea, birch polypore tea uh, with a little bit of wood sorrel in uh, just a bit of a tiny bit of taste like citrus in there um, whether I'll taste it in the tea I'm not too sure but I'll give it a go I probably needed more than that um, so we'll, we'll get on to that See the beautiful flesh of this. It reminds me of the smell of bread sometimes. It's such a beautiful fungus. Uh, so I just chop it up. I usually chop them a bit thicker than that, but it's going to be a quick job. Uh, I'll chop them in half again. Uh, that should be enough just for a brew. So we put those into the pot. Then we get some turkey tails. Put some of those in. Um, the last two there. Put those in and give it a bit of a stir. I'm going to put the wood sorrel in right at the last minute or else it'll just disappear because they really for for extracting the water soluble compounds out of these mushrooms you want to be boiling for uh, a minimum an hour really uh, to make it worthwhile um, but I'm probably just going to do it for 20 minutes maybe just to get a, a nice forest trail mm -hmm. 